It's a revolution. We are going to revolutionize the way we look upon software development. So it's a very important day. Uh, this is a day I've been looking forward to for many, many uh, years. And I didn't believe I would stand in Colombia, in Medellin, and just about maybe to form a chapter, such a Latin American chapter of uh, the future of software. But this is, in my belief, where software will move in the next couple of years. Yesterday was a day of pleasure. And uh, it was a day where I could, I could joke a lot. And uh, I could have fun. <coughs> Today it will be, since it's a very serious topic, will be more serious. But I hope you will find it very interesting. Anyway, so this all started um, CMAT stands for Software Engineering Methods and Theory. It all started um, 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 as CMAT. It started three years ago. When I started to write a paper, which now is published in the book, the paper is called In Need of a Theory in Software Engineering. And uh, that paper was very brave. I knew I had to be very careful. So I didn't publish it in the in, um, United States to start with. I published it in um, first time in China, in Chinese. So because then I felt, um, if you don't like it, it stays in China. Um, and then uh, I did it in Australia, the same paper. And uh, later, in the summer of 2009, I uh, had just agreed to get it published in Dr. Job Journal. But at that time, I also felt it's the wrong way of doing it. This is not the way it should be done. But I use my name and personality and make it my thing. No. This has to be a community effort. This has to be that we get many people involved in doing it. And I don't say so much myself. More than guiding. So in 2009, the first thing I did, how many know Bertrand Meyer? Bertrand Meyer. Yeah, he is, uh, among other things, he's a father of Eiffel, but he is probably most famous for design by contract. And he's, uh, the good thing about him, he has been an entrepreneur, so he understands business. Well, not very much, but a little, <laughs> about like me. And uh, he is also a professor, so he is respected in the academic world. So, I called Bertrand Meyer about this time, uh, no, in July, two years ago. <coughs> Hello Bertrand, I am in Switzerland, he lives in Switzerland. And I had only said that, and he said, can you come over for dinner tomorrow? Okay. 350 kilometers. I drove up to him and we had dinner. And his wife had good cook, good cook so we were eating a lot and drinking. <laughs> and we drank bottle after bottle of wine. Very good wine. And then we were all eating when the cognac came on the table. And at this very moment, I said, Burton, I have an idea. We should change the world together. That sounds like a great idea. Can you send me an email? <laughs> <laughs> that 
Hey, Sean. I sent him an email. It took two months before I read it. He's a very, very focused man. Two months later, I said, I'm coming to see you on next week. Can we talk about the paper? So he had to read the paper. So we met, and I said, I want you to join me in changing the software world. That was number one. The second guy I wanted to join us was uh, Richard Soli, a guy I had known for many, many years. He's chairman of Object Management Group. Object Management Group is a standardization forum. They have standardized UML, for instance, and BPML, and many other things, but primarily UML. UML is a big success. So when I called him and said, you know what, Richard, I would like you to join me on changing the world. I'm already on board, he said. I don't need any explanations. He basically said, whatever you do, I'm with you. <laughs> so the three of us started in, in um, two years ago. And the first thing we did is uh, we, of course, this was one of the things we were looking for. Because the whole software world looks like a fashion industry. You know what the fashion? Yeah, yes. Something happened. They're back. So it looks like a fashion industry. You know what fashion industry is? Fashion. It's clothes, I think, for instance. Uh, I, I like I like fashion. Look at this. <laughs> Nothing wrong with fashion, right? <laughs> I could show you more, but it would be improper. <laughs> so, I like fashion, but not in software. We have, 20 years ago, it was all about object orientation, right? And then, see this one, yeah. And then it became about UML, components. Uh, root unified process, Russian unified process, my own baby. <laughs> and then we had CMLI. Ten years ago, everybody needed to give CMLI, right? CMLI was a big thing. And four years ago, it was extreme programming. Everybody was doing extreme programming. Yesterday, or let's say today, it's about Scrum. Scrum is the big thing. We are all Scrummers. Scrum, you may have to, but it's just Scrum. Yeah. Um, and now it's all about Lean and Canva. The latest and greatest. Lean and Canva. So this is what we do. And um, they're all good, but none of them has all you need. None of them is enough. You need a little of all of this. That's what you need. So, um, when we wrote this uh, start the CMAT, we wrote the case for action. It's basically like kind of manifest, but we, we think it's more proper word is, it's time to do something. So, software engineering, this is what we wrote. Software engineering is greatly hampered today by immature practices. Immature. We are bad in doing software development, as a general. Uh, we look like a fashion industry. We have no widely accepted theoretical basis. No one can stand up in an academic society and, and define what is software engineering in a way that is widely accepted. I mean, I can do it, you can do it, you can do it, but we have no common, widely accepted view. Unbelievable. We have done it for 50 years. Uh, we have no credible experimental evaluation and validation. We don't. We came up with a new method, Scrum. And then it, we have no evaluation. We just claim it's good and people like it and everybody run after that silver bullet. So, 
And then industry practice and academic research. It's tragic. It's so tragic. We have so many good people doing research in software engineering. But very little of that work is ever used in practice. I mean, you spend five years to become a doctor, maybe seven, and afterwards, most cases, no one cares. Less than one percent of academic research is useful. Is being used, I should say. Isn't that the tragedy? I spent five years on doing something really, really great, and no one cares. This is the life of the academics. Totally unacceptable. Needs to be changed. We need to make sure that industry and academics work together. And that's one of the major objectives of CIMA. Now, this is the problem. So what are you going to do about it? Look at these words. We support the process to refound software engineering. Refound means re-engineer. Start all over. And do it better. Based on a solid theory, proven principles, and best practices. And that and now it comes, and this is said in this manifesto, that includes a kernel of widely agreed elements extensible for specific uses. That is the core. That is the real new idea. It addresses both technology and people. Supported by the industry, academia, and Researchers and users, the whole world, <coughs> support it. And it can change extensively, so it's not uh, stable. This is what we wrote in 2009. And then we sent it to the whole world. We sent it in private letters to the most famous people in the world. And um, By the way, we call this the grand vision. This is the grand vision. This is where we want to go. So look here. Look here. All these people, all famous one way or the other. It's, uh, I think it's 36 people have signed this manifesto. They want to support it. And uh, you see here, I mean, these people, you see, uh, Barry Bean, uh, who is the father of iterative development, he is the founder, uh, father of um, uh, function points, and many other things. Larry Constantin, who is the father of structural analysis and design method, which was so popular 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, I should say. Um, we have a CMI guy here, B. Curtis, Eric Gamma, who is a form of um, uh, Jazz, uh, the IBM platform. Uh, here we have a Microsoft guy, Sam Luckenheimer. Um, <laughs> Kate Jones, who is the most famous in the world for metrics. Uh, Bob Martin, he is an, uh, he's called Uncle Bob, and he is famous for agile uh, development. We can go on. Ken Schwaber, the father of... Who said that? Right? Father of Scrum. <laughs> so, uh, and we have... Um, this is a Russian professor. This is a Chinese uh, professor. She is actually called the mother of Chinese software. 